hey guys and welcome back to my channel so my friend was like listen you have to do a pride look you just have to okay so here we are we're gonna be doing a pride colorful look i'm actually gonna try to do two different eyes y'all pray for me i've never done this before i think i have i've done it once but it was like something i was comfortable with like these are a bunch of colors and i'm comfortable with color a little bit but we're gonna push it to the limits today i'm going to be using the car beauty palette it is the pro 13 mind trap palette and it looks like this and this is the palette i'm going to be using for both eyes i think i don't know how these yellows are they might crack but i wanted to just jump into this because we got some juicy tea the baby and megan and stallion was back and forth child right when i said the celebrity tea was slow this week boom we get hit with this shit i don't know i'm gonna actually show you guys the picture that is inspiring this this hopefully you guys can see it hopefully you can I don't know it might be too bright but um this is actually posted on opv's page and it was a pride month look inspired by painted by spencer it's his instagram or her instagram i'm not sure um but i'm gonna be doing that two days yellow on brown skin is just so hard sometimes to get without it cracking the baby and yeah, is that yellow enough i don't know the baby and meg have like a really great working relationship can you guys see um they have a really great working relationship and they're often referred to as you know work husband work wife because they worked on like so many songs together and i actually like the duo i like the baby and i also like um meg so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be trying my best to explain this but it is hurting my heart so in order for me to really explain this for you guys, I got to take y'all back to give y'all like the backstory so it can all make sense just in case some people was living under a rock or maybe y'all don't follow this type of news so you don't really know. But back in July of 2020, we are almost at a year y'all that it came out that Megan was shot. Allegedly Tory Lane shot her and it all stemmed from like a pool party and what happened at the pool party is Tory was allegedly flirting with Kylie Jenner. May got upset about it. So next for this eye, I'm gonna take a little bit of a green and apply it just right here next to it, which is why I put down so much primer on um, this go around because I wanted it to blend. Tori states that he denies all of the allegations. He never shot her. But the bad thing is to me is he came out with an album basically gaslighting her and then also downplaying her injuries. He would say like if your injuries are so bad then you shouldn't be able to perform and twerk or if your injuries are so bad how were you able to get on stage like it was just it was a gas light situation okay and i'm applying the orange to this eye a little bit of orange just kind of happened this is coming out like so bright i don't know if i have enough lid space like that lady she had the most prettiest um deep set eyes which means like they're kind of I don't know they deep set and it just looked really really cute um for me i don't know we gonna see i'm building this color up i'm barely tapping this job because with the mattes i just find that you don't have to do like a lot of work to get them to blend tori said that megan caused him to lose millions of dollars in sponsorships like nobody wanted to work with him it was just all bad so allegedly um the only people in the vehicle at the time of the shooting was tori megan's best friend and the security guard so back when all of this hit the fan it came out that meg's best friend i don't know the girl's name i think it might be kelsey but she was initially messing around with meg and well not with meg but with tori she was initially messing around with tori and then she found out that same night that meg was messing around with tori so it was like a kabook of shit like oh okay so i don't know if meg broke girl code i'm not really sure um but that's what came out it came out that I think he even said that on his album. I didn't hear the album. I just heard like snippets of the album. But I think he also said that he was initially messing around with Kelsey. And then um, he started messing around with Meg's sneaky link. And then they was all at this party together. I don't know if, if it happened. It's it's very weird. It's very weird if it happened and it breaks the girl code. So maybe she was the initial Portia. We don't know. Anyway, I kind of got sidetracked. So um, Kelsey was in the car. Tori was in the car, Meg was in the car, and then they said Tori's security was in the car too, right? This is some red I'm going in. And as you guys can see, I'm using the same brush for everything. Um, but they said all of them were in the car. Kelsey denied it. 
the security guard denied it and Tori is denying it. So I guess it's looking like they game clue. Who the hell shot Meg? I can't see what color they put on the edge for this eye. So I'm just gonna try pink and we're gonna see if it works. Cross some fingers if this works. Um, and we're just going to apply it right there on the edge because I can't see which color they used on the outer edge. Like I see the red and then it kind of like fades off. So I can't really see. So Tori is saying that nobody in the industry wanted to work with him. They was doing like his hairline and running from the heels. Okay, period. Um, so he's blaming Meg for losing millions and millions of dollars. I'm not sure what's going on with the case. They really have not brought it up in mainstream anymore. It was like a big deal. People were following it. Now, I'm not really sure. Tori said that the case was dismissed. Meg said that it's on hold for something. I can't remember what she said it was on hold for, but it wasn't over and it's not done. I'm not really sure. Nobody's saying too much of anything at this point. I'm gonna go in with like a deeper blue that's in the same palette. I'm so proud of me for using the same palette, first of all. Okay, that's the first thing. Like, look at me using the same damn palette and I'm using one brush, like, okay. I'm really feeling this eye. Like, I love these colors together. This one's cute. But I'm like, if I had to choose, it'd be this one. Like, for me, I'm gonna just say this. I almost touched this eye because y'all know I'm used to going back and forth. But I'm gonna just say this. I have never really been a fan of Tori. Even when he came out, it was just something about him that gave me cornball vibes. Like, I just, I didn't really like him. Tori, in my opinion, gives me the vibes of a cornball like you know like somebody who is not used to being with beautiful women and so when they finally get one like they gotta tell everybody that is what he gives me like he just cannot keep his mouth shut it just uh, it just bothers me and and we had this same problem with dream doll like it is just something about him that is just never set right with me something about him just i don't know what makes on him like i, I really don't I am so about to fight with this freaking orange. Like, it just don't want to be pigmented enough right here. And then every time I kind of, like, go in too harsh with it, it erases my yellow. It just ain't blending like how it is blending. You see how the yellow is going right into the green, and it's just making it pop or whatever. This just, I don't know. It's just bothering me because it's not perfect, and y'all know I'm a Virgo, so it got to be perfect. I kind of want to add like a little bit of purple to the edge because y'all know like I'm obsessed with like dark edges. So I'm going to add like a smidge of purple right here on the outer edge because y'all know that's just my thing. And I probably just missed it, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, let me put some primer on. This is the Rare Beauty primer I'm going to be using. And that was actually quick, surprisingly. I thought it was going to be like really long, but I guess because I didn't do a cut crease, it's super simple. So my skin, I love the way this primer makes my skin feel. Oh, God. It just feels like so rejuvenated and just delicious. I just love it. Okay, I'm going to go in and color correct because I've seen another makeup artist do this and I thought it just came out so, 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 so pretty. So I'm going to go in and try to color correct. I don't know. I don't even know where my color corrector is, honestly. I thought it was around here somewhere, but you know, it's not. Um, But this is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It's in the shade Illuminator and it's actually to brighten up the under eye, which... I love a good bright under eye, so I'm actually going to use this and hopefully this will kind of conceal some of my dark marks. So this is the Maybelline foundation. It's actually Maybelline today. It's in the shade, I want to say 362, 360. Um, and it's the 30 hour wear that I'm going to be using on my face today. Um, but the baby, it, it shows that he actually retweeted a tweet that says something to the effect of Tori and the baby shoot people and they got off. The baby said it was hacked by Twitter and that he actually did not post that. And I was wondering, because I believe that the song came out like maybe last week or maybe earlier this week. And I hadn't seen any tweets from Meg. Not saying that you have to do everything online, but I hadn't seen anything. So I was like, maybe she don't, you know, she just think it's business and it's whatever. But I think that once he retweeted or his account showed that it retweeted that, that it struck a nerve for her. And so of course she came out and said something about it. So you guys know I let this dry before, oops, what is that? Before actually blending this out. So I'm gonna let this dry, but I'm gonna finish up. So after the retweet, Megan, um, said something to the baby and basically said that men in the industry are different in private than they are out in public So the baby responded and he said you're not saying nothing that I ain't said to Tori's face. Okay, if I said it 
to you, I'm going to say it to him. And you know what? I wholeheartedly believe that because the man is crazy. I knew he was crazy when, what's the girl, his baby mama, uh, Mimi? When Mimi was airing him out on live and he was just sitting there calm as hell. I knew he was crazy then. I knew something, the wires are not connecting. So I knew he was a little off then. So I feel like this on the situation. I respected Meg so much for not getting in between the Nicki Minaj and the Cardi beef and working with both artists and showing both artists love. I totally respected that. I guess I have to play devil's advocate here so I can see it from both ends. Um, the first one with me seeing it from the baby's point of view is kind of like, why is this situation different, right? And I get that many people are going to be like, well, this is no different than her working with Cardi after she worked with Meg, which I can see that. I can totally understand that. Like I told y'all, I play devil advocate a lot because I can always see somebody else's perspective of it and I can understand. However, I feel like this case may be different because somebody was actually injured you know like they were shot like you tried to to hurt me now did cardi and riley fight yes and she ended up with the knot on her head that she got she got from security yes but i feel like that was just like okay i'm gonna get up and i'm gonna walk away from that that wasn't me like intentionally trying to you know off you personally just feel like the baby is a different breed he is more street than he is industry you know what i'm saying so for him i think in his situation he felt like well money is money let me go ahead and work with meg i mean not meg let me go ahead and work with tori and just get to this bag money is money and i know that money is not everything that is just my personal opinion but for some people it is like money is everything for them and it's just like for me i'd be like okay well i'd rather just lose out on money than to work with somebody like that that has a history of that it's kind of like the jeffrey epsteins and stuff of the world i personally would not work with them but somebody who is money hungry probably would and i feel like maybe that was just a business decision for him i don't think that it was ill-intentioned i think he was just like baby a street you know what i'm saying like he's a he's a street dude so i feel like his motive is just to make money any any way possible i don't think that he was like oh let me fuck with meg's head and you know go in here and, and make this money i don't think that that was the intention at all i think he really really just wanted to make the money and meg mentioned that they had had conversations in private so that lets me know that he probably called her and let her know like hey it's no ill will and in his message he said he didn't clear it like somebody else cleared it so if he recorded this months in advance and then somebody else came in after him or his management i don't know how the industry works but whoever came in after him and was like okay it's a go then that's not really on him as the artist he already recorded it you know what i'm saying like you can't take it back once they paid you for the verse at least legally i would think that's how it works so my personal opinion i don't feel like meg was upset that he recorded the album like i said it could have been done months in advance so she probably wasn't tripping off of that i think she really was upset at the fact that he retweeted it you know and that probably just caused her to go into a frenzy especially after you had a conversation with them i think that's probably what it was she's probably like damn like we just had this conversation and now you're retweeting it let me tell y'all what this is before y'all flip out on me. So this is the lip bar. It's in the shade uh, Brown Sugar Babe. And then the powder that I just baked with is the Beauty Bakery. Not Beauty Bakery, I'm sorry. Uh, Makeup Revolution. Damn, I almost lost my train of thought there. It's the Makeup Revolution uh, banana powder that I just baked with under my eyes and down my nose. Okay, so this is the Juvia's Place uh dark deep dark palette that i absolutely adore i use this in every single look i'm looking for my brushes while i'm looking around sorry um but i absolutely love this palette and i use this to bronze and contour my cheeks i will say this though i think meg has to learn um that not everybody is going to be loyal to you i would say expect the unexpected from people okay i don't put nothing past anybody I don't put nothing past my kids. I don't put nothing past like my good friends. I don't put nothing past anybody because anything could happen. Um, and people change, feelings change, okay? So I think she just has to get to that place where she, you know, just doesn't bank on people to be loyal to her. If you, if they're loyal to you and you're not expecting it, then that's amazing. Um, but I just, me personally, I just would not continue to ask people to be loyal because it ain't no loyalty out here in 2021 if Portia has shown us nothing 
is everything that you see is not real. This is just a generic lip liner I'm going in with now. I try to add some little rhinestones to the corners, y'all. Oh, uh, I don't know. We gonna see. Um, but anyway, Partisan try to jump in. Party try to jump in for his girlfriend and listen. I'm not mad at you, Party. Do what you gotta do. However, the baby is he ain't really wrapped too tight. Like he got all this money and still be punching valet drivers in the face. Like. He punched the homeowner in the face. The one that he rented the house from to shoot the video shoot. Party, I just, I'm not sure this is what you want to do. I'm not, granted, you know, Party was trying to knock down Meg's door that night. So, I mean, he might be a little off too. I'm not really sure. They say the quiet ones be a little crazy. But the baby, I freaking love the baby. When Party came out and said that the baby said, you must not know about me. <laughs> must not know about me. Anybody who is happy when they mad or laughing when they mad, they a little crazy, okay? I don't know, Party. He, he little, but he angry. So, this may not be the move for you, sir. It just... <laughs> it just may not be. And now I'm going to go in with my NYX uh, Sable lipstick. And I'm going to apply it. I have not used this since I got it. Definitely a pretty nude, but I just, you know, I be sticking to my own shit. My nude lust is my favorite. To sum up this story like i hope that they can work it out like for real for real i really do because i like both of them um i just i don't know i think meg is looking for loyalty in all the wrong places like you're just not gonna find loyalty in somebody in the industry because they money hungry just like you money hungry my um even like something that i learned in my professional and my personal life is stop expecting people to do things that you would do. Um, although you may do it, it is not in somebody else's DNA to do that as well. So just lower your expectations and everything will work out and it'll be better. I know she's been dealing with a lot though. Like she has to deal with like her, her parents passing and just not having anybody here for her. So I really do hope that she finds that peace and that happiness that she's looking for, which it seems like she has and party. But I'm just like, I... I hope she just got some down ass friends for her. like I hope you still got a couple down ass friends. All right, it is time to blend this out because we are done. I actually like the way it came out. I think it came out super cute. If you've made it here, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give me a like, please. But I'm just patting this all into the skin. If you're not new here, then y'all know this is just what I do. So I'm gonna pat all of that into my skin and then i'll come back with the finished results and yeah we'll we'll go ahead and wrap up from there all right guys so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you give me a like and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one